Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Break Brothers on this fine Friday night. Hopefully, everybody's doing good. Thank you, uh, everyone, uh, for everybody for joining us after uh, probably another long week of work after a holiday weekend. So we appreciate you taking some time out. Uh, tonight we have for you some 2019 Gold Rush Kid Baseball, by the way. Uh, great to see you guys. Hey, Zane. Perfect. Great to see both you guys. And if you guys get a chance uh, in the room here uh, or on the break, I should say, uh, check out Kid Baseball's channel as well. They do some great breaks. Um, Mike and his son Zane, and they're, they're both great. And uh, check out the videos if you get a chance. Um, getting back here, um, we have for you tonight 2019 Gold Rush Extravaganza. We've done this about three times so far. This one's a little bit different than our usual one. Most of the components are the same. We have uh, four of the five are the same, but we kind of uh, took out the inserts and parallels this time, and instead we're going to go with uh, vintage baseball, which was a little bit different. So this one's uh, 60s edition, as you can see. We'll go through these each year. And what it consists of is 60s cards, and they're in pretty good condition. So we'll go through, like I said, that's one of the uh, boxes we'll be uh, seeing tonight. Uh, all right, I'll keep an eye open for Zane there, Mike. Um, again, here we have the relics. We're going to be 20 relics we're breaking. So we'll see what we have here. 20 relics. See a Julio Tehran there. Looks like that's probably going to be a Braves one. Uh, it looks like it on the top there. So we have the relics. We also have stars, diamond stars. So that's, you know, uh, stars of late here. So these will be modern, uh, some of the more modern players. And it doesn't mean it's uh, in the last couple of years. They go back, you know, the Griffies and that. But it's not going to be the vintage cards. So here we go. And that's diamond stars. And there's 50 of those. Uh, let's see. The relics, by the way, were 20 relics. Next we have here uh, the autograph. And this one has 20 autographs in here. So there's a Rob Nen for the Giants on top there. So it looks like San Francisco is going to be getting something as on. Looks like is Alex Dickerson too, and that looks like a prime cut. So that should be a pretty nice one right there. So um, let's see here. And lastly, we have the rookies, and that is one of my favorites that we break with these. And uh, this actually was the very last. We get these through Steel City. And uh, I think we've pretty much drained that well. And I think there may be a couple of straggler boxes, but the rookie ones were long gone. These usually have provided some really great cards. And there's a George Springer right there, a rookie card right on top. And a Jose Abreu on the back. And uh, the same night that we had our last break, we, I went on there and uh, we looked for some, uh, uh, you know, to start building up another set of these breaks. And it's a last one. So we scooped this one up, got everything else, and uh, so we got the last one available to you. It doesn't look like it's something in their restock and maybe something seasonal that they do once a year. But who knows? They might be back in stock in a couple months. But anyway, that's what we have for you tonight. And uh, all the teams sold out. So usually we have a team or two to sell you guys uh, that uh, you know didn't uh, you know quite sell. But everything got taken tonight. A lot of familiar faces tonight, and uh, you know I'm sure I'll call out people as the cards start coming. But I want to thank everybody that has been returned. Uh, there's quite a few of you here tonight, and glad to see all of you. Uh, it, it it really it uh, we we love it when you guys come back, and uh, we love it and not only because we get to see you guys, but we love putting good cards in your hands, and we hope we do it often. So anyway, with that said, we're gonna dive in here, and uh, let's see where to start. Where to start? Hmm, let's start with Diamond Stars. That's pretty harmless, and we'll get some newer guys out of the way here. And if I remember right, these things were kind of a pain to open. It's tough to see here. They got these kind of pillars, so the top kind of sits down in here. I'm going to kill this owner's crawl here, everybody. Give us a little more real estate. Um, they're really shoved in there pretty good, so let's see if we can get these open without too much drama. things like a card crypt I appreciate that kid baseball both you guys uh, honestly it's it's I, what's really great and I, I've said it before on here uh, myself the other half of the break brothers Jeff who's obviously here tonight 
and just off camera he helps with the logistics of, of all this stuff and uh, he <laughs> he does amazing things with sorting while all this is going on and that's what helps us get those you know decent shipping times of usually around three or four days and um, anyway uh, we, we really do appreciate you guys we really do the, the way you guys come back and uh, uh, he's noted it and we showed it to the break parents and the break parents think your channel is great as well both you and uh, your son Zane so again thanks again for everybody that comes out thanks again Mike for uh, you and Zane and the rest of your family for partaking in this as well all right enough rambling here we got a Mike Trout right off the bat going off to the Angels and we're going to see if we're going to move through these pretty good here uh, we got an Albert Pujols going out to the Cardinals we got a Bryce Harper going out to Washington. Nice. And we'll be sleeving and top loading uh, a lot of these as we go. Some of them right now and some of them off camera and obviously before they ship. So we got a Jose Abreu uh, rated rookie right here. And again, this is the Diamond Star. So we haven't even hit the rookies one yet, but this is the rated rookie for Jose Abreu. Let me just get some sleeves here and at least get that started. Oh, trust me, you guys are great. We, we love seeing all, all of you guys. Your entire family's incredibly supportive. You guys are fun to have in the chat. You're interactive, um, and it comes across in your channel as well in your videos. So, again, thank you very much. Oh, looks like we've got our first mini of the night, and that's uh, Alex Bregman going out to the Astros. And let's see, i got to start learning who's got who tonight. And the Astros, I remember writing it on my cheat sheet, Justin. Justin S. And welcome back, Justin. Good to see you. Got a mini here of Alex Bregman, and that looks like a little Bowman. A little Bowman card, and that's the rookie card, so that's pretty cool. That's always nice to have. Let me get one, because that one's got a chance of getting crushed up here a little bit. Let's get that in the top order right off very cool next up oh, we got another rookie card of Didi Gregorius that one if I remember right is Arizona correct so I'm getting some rookie cards right off the bat there's another Bryce Harper and obviously for Washington and that is Justin again congratulations Followed up by a Benny Baseball. And let's see who's got the Red Sox. Ah, there we go, Thomas. Again, Thomas, welcome back. Good to see you. Best of luck tonight, as always. Great to have you here. Benny Baseball. And that is Prospect Card. So that is akin to a, uh, a rookie card. So that's pretty nice. Very nice pull right there. Followed up by a Mike Trout. So the Angels get started early here. And again, these are going to be recent stars, so it seems like they've got clustered around a couple, uh, like the Bryce Harper here. So that's another good one going up as an optic. Followed up by, by uh, Jeff Depan's finest, Otani and Ichiro. So this one, let's see here. We got the Angels. And we got Seattle, and I don't think they have the same owner. Angels, nope. And Seattle, let's get the Mariners. Lloyd, good to see Lloyd again. Um, that'll have to be a random here. So let me put that one aside, and we'll random that one between you two guys at the end of this. Moving on. We've got an Albert Pujols for the Cardinals. Spectrum. It's kind of a rainbow foil. Looks like a Buster Posey coming up here for San Francisco, and that's a select. Uh, let's see who's got the... Where are you? Giants. Anthony! There's another guy. Welcome back. Good to see you. Yeah, no doubt, Thomas. That should be... A, uh, that's a good way to start the night, for sure. And then we got the uh, Buster Posey. I don't think that's a rookie card, but... Still uh, not too bad. Another Elber Pujols. They seem to be... Uh, in past uh, breaks here, we saw a lot of Griffey. I mean, a lot of Griffey. Decent amount of each row, too. But it looks like this one, they're more concentrating on Elber Pujols this time around. So this may be... Uh, oh, it's, a, it's a slug out here between Harper and Pujols for who controls this thing. My goodness. 
All right, Bryce. We get it. Here's another one going out to Washington. All right. Here's one for Atlanta. Break it up a little bit. Chris Johnson. That's a Elite Edition. Both Brick Brothers really like the uh, Elite Extra Edition cards. There's usually some pretty nice ones. And the boxes usually have an absolute ton of autographs. So they're usually pretty fun. All right. Baltimore getting on the board with an uh, Optic. And that's a Manny Machado. Again, I don't think that's rookie, but it can't be too far into his career, probably like third year, so that's not too bad. And shockingly, Albert Pujols, upper deck, signature stars. Nothing numbered so far, but usually they do include some number ones in these. Uh, Glebar Torres, obviously for the Yankees on this one. There we go. So that's not too bad. Yasiel Puig. Interesting. There's a rookie card, so that's pretty cool. Um, be interesting to see where he ends up. I'm not sure where his destination is. He's still got a little bit of gas in the tank. Got Bryce Harper. Again. Got one going out to the Nats. Now, who's got the Nationals? Justin. Justin, you are cleaning house here. Uh, another one of the Trouts. Unfortunately, it's the same card as we started with. Here's a thicker one. And that is a Carlos Gomez. Cargo for the Brewers. That is a thicker, uh, again, uh, is that Tops Tribute, I believe. Let's see there on the back. Anyway, so that's a uh, cargo card for the Milwaukee Brewers. Next up, we got a Chris Bryan for the Cubbies. There we go, Kid Baseball and Zane. Donruss 2018. Zane's favorite player. Glad to get him started tonight. Tell him to warm up the happy dance. And whoever likes Albert Pujols should be pretty happy. So the Cardinals, I don't know that I've called the Cardinals name, but I should have by now because they are absolutely killing. That's Chris. Chris K. Good to see you, Cardinals. Going out to you. Got quite a few of those for you tonight. All right, now we got Stars and Stripes. Corey Seager. Lots of his 16 and under national team cards. So that one's going back to the prospect days. Nice. It's a pretty interesting array of where the cards are coming from. Here's one for the Angels. Um, coming from a number of years, but they don't seem too varied on the players, unfortunately. The ones we had got previously, they really did try to vary it a bit. So here we've got Topps Museum. That's a little bit of a thicker card. Jonathan Luke, uh, Lucroy. Again, kind of a, a nicer, to hard, uh, a harder uh, card stock. Jonathan Lucroy. So the Brewers getting a couple of... Uh, of these nice thicker cards. All right. Mike Trout. There we go. Don Russ. That looks like maybe, see what year, maybe 2017, 2018, 2018. Another Ichiro. There's a pinnacle. That's from uh, his days playing with New York. Next up, uh, going back to the Cubbies. Kyle Schwarber. And that's a Bowman prospect card, looks like. Nice. Cubby's back on the board. That looks like a Bryce Harper. Shocking, shocking. There's another one for the Nats, though. Justin, good one. Get you guys started early. Here's another Red Sox for Thomas. Mookie Betts. That's a Diamond Kings. Got some Diamond Kings breaking tomorrow. Uh, some 2018 uh, Diamond Kings we have breaking tomorrow as part of a mixer. Uh, the mixers should be pretty cool. A lot of nice uh, cards should be pulled from there like last time. Actually, it should be a lot better than last time. Uh, we replaced a couple of the boxes with some more higher-end stuff. So there's some, again, really nice cards to be had. Here's a Yasiel Puig, still with the Dodgers. And that's, again, a, what looks to be, I think, a Topps Tribute. And that's a thicker, again, card stock. Going out to the Dodgers. And 
Next up, another one for Thomas. Mookie Betts. See if we can keep those cubbies coming for you there, Mike. And Zane. Don't want to forget you. Bryce Harper. There's a Bowman. Not sure what year. Let's see if we can get that in focus. And uh, probably just better off looking. 2014. So that's a little bit of an older one. Not too bad. And really heavy emphasis on Pujols and uh, Bryce Harper in this. Josh Bell, rookie card, mini, and that's a Bowman Chrome. Who's got the Pirates tonight? Let's see here. Uh, Travis. There you go. And the winter meetings, I think I, should, I really need to look one of these days. They've either started or they're really close to starting. I know that. But already there's some trades uh, going on. And... Um, the latest one, uh, Tampa just traded with uh, San Diego. And I saw Blake Schnell reacted to it. He wasn't too happy. I think it was like Choi or somebody got uh, traded. Uh, Nolan Arenado. There's a Panini. Uh, not sure what's set. Father's Day. That's a Arenado Father's Day. And Rockies this night. Who has those? Oh, my cheat sheet sucks. Um, oh, just an F. There we go. There we go. It's a Father's Day edition. Nolan Arenado. All right, next up, we've got an Aaron Judge League Leaders. New York Yankees. And it looks like another Cub coming up next here. And it is. It is a Chris Bryant. And that is a National Baseball Card Day 2016. So that one goes back a few years. Nice, Chris Bryant. That's what the back looks like. So that looks like his sophomore year here. Congrats. Here, we got one for the Royals, which is Anthony, and that's an Eric Hosmer, who I believe plays for San Diego these days. They paid a pretty good pretty good amount of money for him, I believe, to sign him. There's a Topps Museum, and again, it's a nice, thicker card. That one, obviously, for the Royals. Cool. I'm glad get uh, Zane some cards here early. Another Bryce Harper. Nationals doing very, very well on those. Madison Baumgartner, so San Francisco getting in on this again. That's Anthony. That's an Elite Extra Edition. And that's got to be, went wrong, 2014? Yeah, 2014. All right. And you know what? Guess what, guys? We don't have to random anything anymore. Let me get that. Card. This card is the one we were going to random off, but since the next card is the same card, things just kind of took care of themselves. All right. <laughs> well, welcome, Finley. Good to see you here. All right, we got Mookie Betts from Boston up next here. And that's kind of, again, Elite Extra Edition or somewhat of like a foil card. Mookie making his presence known again. All right. Looks like we got another museum piece here going out to Baltimore and Manny Machado. And the O's tonight. I don't know if I've called the name, although we've had an O's uh, card before. Orioles. Oh, Hayden. Hey, Hayden. Good to see you. There we go. Tops tribute. Nothing uh, that's been numbered, though, so far. I'm a little uh, perplexed by that, but I'm sure we'll make up for it. So there we go. Baltimore next up. Oh, back-to-back. -back. Manny Machado. That's still with Baltimore. And that's for uh, Chronicles. 
we do have Chronicles tomorrow. <laughs> wow, that's a nice segue into tomorrow's mixer as well. There's some uh, uh, a box of Chronicle in that hobby. That has a ton of hits in it. Ton, ton, ton. I think three autographs and maybe one relic or three autographs and a um, you get these Spectre cards too, which are super thick cards. They're as good as a hit, actually. So uh, those are pretty good. Cool. And again, those will be in with tomorrow's. Albert Pujols, another one for the Cardinals. And wrapping up the Diamond Stars, we have Daniel Murphy going out to the Nationals. So Nationals really had a good first box here. Quite a few, and that was, I believe, 50 cards. Yep, 50 modern uh, stars. So that is, again, tops and tops tribute, it looks like, again. So maybe just a different year. But again, a little emblem down there. So very nice. Uh, hopefully, uh, we get a little more variation. Get some other people in on this for the rest of these. We're going to sleep for this, folks. All right. Just, I had to get a thick one. Here we go. All right, guys. What to open next? Uh, let's go to get that out of the way. We got the rookies, we got the vintage, we got the auto ones relic. Let's get the relics going. Let's jump right in here. Let's get some a uh, little more heat going for everybody here. We'll get to everything, but let's. Uh, Hmm. Yeah, these are the boxes I remember. Giving up a little bit of a fuss here. Hmm. Okay. See if we can do this, especially without injuring <laughs> myself on air. That's a bad look, so Let's see if we can get these open without incident. <laughs> we'll see what happens here. It looks like the Braves are going to be the first one to uh, get one, however. We have... Well, let me get these out of here, and then we'll, we'll get into these. And again, I love this product. Some of the boxes are better than others. It's it's from week to week. We've had some pretty crazy breaks, but I do like the relics that come out of here. So the first ones are Julio, uh, Julio Tehran. That's going out to the Braves. That's a nice patch there. Almost looks like the old flannel almost, but I don't know what kind of pattern that is on it. But either way, that's a nice card. That one's going out to the Braves. 2014 Tops Heritage. And I like it's kind of the old school muted cardboard back, a little more natural uh, type of feel to it. Next up, we have a Hunter Pence for Philadelphia. Phillies getting on the board here. Let's see. The Phillies tonight is Anthony again. Good to see. Back to the Future. That's a Don Russ. Kind of a napkin relic, but still pretty nice. And again, most perplexingly, it does not have a number. Where is that package of thick sleeves? Looks like it's time to need them. There we go. All right, next up, there's a numbered one. And that is a Chris Young for the Diamondbacks. So, Brian, that one's going out to you. That is number 74 of 200. There we go. Kind of a gray... Uh, I don't think that's probably pants. It's more than likely uh, just gray jersey. But again, nice numbered one. Congrats going out to Arizona. Next up is a mini, mini bat relic. Angel Barroa for KC. 
And that is Anthony. Take me out to the ball game. That is a tops. Not sure what series. Pretty cool though. There we go. See a lot of Cracker Jack on here. So anyway, very nice. Kind of again another thick card. Good stuff. Next up, and that is. Houston, where's the name on it? Oh, it's Lance Berkman. Ha, there we go. I should have recognized by the picture. I, I Instead of hunting for which side it was going to be on here, should have just looked at him. All right, cool. So that one's a very clean. Must have been uh, not much action. Game worn. Hmm. Anyway, very nice. That one goes out to Houston. And that's, uh, who do we have with Houston? I know I called it earlier, Justin. Congratulations, Justin. Uh, Allen and Ginter. There we go. And that looks like an Adam Dunn. But not the Reds. It's with Washington, it appears. 2010. Washington Nationals version of that. Yeah. Cool. Interesting looking card. Kind of the framed auto there, or framed relic, I should say. With the card kind of floating in the middle of that. All right, next up, guys. Greg Bird recently let go by New York. They uh, did not tender him. So he's a free agent, I believe. That is a nice kind of uh, gray uniform relic. Panini Diamond Collection. Donruss, looks like, actually, I should say. Oop. Next up, that looks like an Indian, Carl Santana. That is a patch in a kind of like die cut uh, baseball type deal. Very nice, but again, not numbered. Very strange. Not a lot of numbered cards in this uh, edition. Next up, Deanna Navarro. There's a name from the past. Game worn jersey, clubhouse collection, tops heritage. And again, I like the kind of the natural back uh, that you used to see on uh, all cards back in the uh, 70s and that, where they really went to the gloss designs, but very nice. And Navarro did play for several teams, but I do remember him with the Tampa organization. It looks like leather and lumber. And we got a Patrick Wisdom for Texas. So that's a three colored relic. Not too bad. And that is. Where are the Rangers? Anthony. So Anthony doing well. Getting something across a lot of his teams already. And that one goes out to Texas. Next up, L.A. Dodgers. It's pretty cool. And it looks like a holiday edition. Snowflakes there. Kenta Maeda. What do we have here? Oh, Walmart Holiday Mega. There we go. You know, these guys are going to... Uh, it sounds like they're trying to help me here. Uh, in tomorrow's break again, we do have Topps Walmart Holiday Mega boxes along with Top Sapphire. If you haven't seen Top Sapphire, that's some good stuff. That's like the entire box is refractors, but the atomic ice, uh, cracked ice type uh, a look to every card. It's amazing. But this one here, nice relic, Kentamaeda for LA Dodgers. Super nice.
you don't see top is really sting, uh, stingy with its uh, relics and for the most part you just don't see them uh, so it's always it's always pretty cool to see how they work them into them they just there's not many of them unfortunately and for them being the kind of the company that's been like the the face of baseball cards forever it's it's weird how how few you see in their product so here we have an Allen and Ginters that is oh pirates right there there you go Jose Tabata looks like a bat relic very nice card and again it's kind of like a framed one that I don't really want to go too nuts on it but that floats within it so it's pretty nice they're cool cards I, I really uh, both myself and and Jeff the other break brother here uh, never really big Allen and Ginter fans but the more I see of them during the breaks uh, the more I have respect for them actually there, there's some pretty cool designs that I've seen and I, I you know it has me second thinking my uh, presumption about the cards so pretty cool all right now we got a gypsy queen that is a James Shields relic I haven't seen any of his before so that's that's a little bit different 2012 that's why nice and again that's a nice thick type of card as most relics are you know a lot of relics are really 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 thick and um, we haven't hit too many of those yet today so here we have authentic fabric Darren Erstad for the Angels there's a classic name very very good player the Angels they had a good squad back then with Salmon uh, Tim Salmon and um, uh, Jim Edmonds uh, they were pretty good this was one of the components of them. Nice card. Nice throwback. Next up, more die cut. We have a Josh Reddick. Sea Dogs. Portland Sea Dogs. Who is Sea Dogs? Is that Boston, Jeff? I don't know. That's West Coast. It probably isn't. Josh, that's probably Oakland, I bet. Oh, it's numbered, too. 21 of 199. See, uh, if you can, what is that? Uh, in 2008, see who Portland Sea Dogs were affiliated with. Or who Josh Reddick was affiliated with in 2008. All right, well, I'll let you know who that is in a second, guys. Nice card, regardless. We'll... Uh, Jeff's taking a look, see if he can dig up. But I wouldn't be surprised if it was Oakland. Nice card. Onward we go. This one's a little bit of a thicker one. That is a Michael Burgess for Washington. That's a triple threads. It, or, it doesn't look like a triple threads logo. Strange. Oop, numbered. Oh, oh it is Boston? Okay, I had it right the first time. All right, so um, the Portland Sea Dogs is indeed Boston. Josh Reddick, game used 2008. So pretty cool. Samantha, I, uh, I'm i not sure whose team you have, uh, Samantha. Forrester. Uh, anyway, uh, there's many more to go here, but hopefully uh, we'll get to something that you've got. Uh, Michael Burgess here, uh, 349 of 500. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised uh, some of the relics are more prominent names. So, uh, we've had very results, but we're usually really good coming out of this product. Padres, Tag Bozard, Boziad. Hmm. A lot more prospects in this one than I'm used to. Usually there's a lot more uh, MLB. All right. I, I would have to look to see what organization he's with. Or this one's Padres, but some of these uh, you may have to end up looking up is what I should have said. Kyle Farmer. Now, he sounds familiar. Like maybe the Cubs? I wonder if it says here. Hey, Jeff, can you look up uh, Kyle Farmer, infielder? Uh, 
um, uh, is that Padres? I think you're probably, oh yeah, 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 Padres. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, it's a little, let well, I, yeah. it's funny. Uh, as you said that, I had pulled that Padres right there. I mean, that's not gonna exactly, uh, you know, sway the night, but I understand what's that. Uh, that he's, uh, let me see what year this is. Twenty thirteen. Who was he drafted by? Uh, Yankees or Dodgers? In the twenty thirteen amateur draft, it's probably the Dodgers. We'll have to do a, a double check on that. But off the top of my head, Dodgers. it looks like this is going to be Dodgers. So again, we'll take a look, but. Um, initially, that's what it looks like. I just want to give you guys kind of a, a general ballpark. All right, next up is a Thomas Burbank. Ay, ay, ay. Another guy I'm going to have to chase. <laughs> well, thanks, Samantha. I appreciate that. We're trying. Hopefully, we again, we got some autographs to go through. We got the the uh, vintage. I'm not, that's the first time we've opened a vintage. I, I don't know what to expect there. And we have the rookie, and I have to say the rookies are probably going to be the best part of this uh, besides the autos. And usually the relics. Relics are killing me tonight. But anyway, we'll keep plugging forward here. So we got a USA Baseball 150th, Thomas Burbank. And again, nothing for a team listed. <laughs> Jeff's shaking his head like this guy is... Well, he's 52 of 99 for whatever that's worth. Uh, is he out of high school yet? Is it, or is this that, that much of a... Oh, he's a 15 and under. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, 2014. Hopefully he's graduated by now and somebody scooped him up. This may be one where we're just going to have to do the research off camera, guys. Thomas Burbank, left-handed pitcher. No. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, let's get this gun, this one bagged up here, and then we'll keep moving forward. If you see anything on Thomas Burbank, Jeff, uh, this cat right here, I'm going to show you. This guy right here, uh, let me know. All right, we're on the last relic. There's a pretty thick one. And it looks like we got some Mets. Angel Pagan, 104 of 199, quad relic. That's about time they threw a top smart key there. I was expecting more of these, to be quite honest with you. We've had some pretty good luck. That guy's a ghost. Rando. Rando. <laughs> All right. We'll have to look into Thomas Burbank more. Apparently, he's some sort of ghost. Uh, so we'll look and see what happened with him. And if and honestly, if he's not affiliated with anybody, we're going to end up randoming it off. But it may be off camera. But um, yeah, we'll take a look. I assume he's going to be affiliated with somebody, though. And this is uh, Angel Pagan. Uh, let's see. Do we have a... Uh, I should have them right here. Right. Let's get this one in the top order. All right, guys. That is not the top order that it's going to fit in. Let's try a little bit larger. And bingo was his name. Oh, all right. There we go. All right, guys. Let's see what we got going on here. All right. So we're down to three. We got some autos, we got the rookies, and we got the 60s, which is kind of a wild card. Um, we haven't opened these before. They weren't available, actually, at the time that we ordered the first set, couple sets. And um, I'm going to have to fight this more. i got a feeling. And uh, so we didn't try them. And uh, we figured to give them a try this time. The parallels were kind of hit-miss. The legends were kind of hit-miss. Again, the, the, the legends were a lot like we saw here tonight where it's very concentrated on just a couple of players and it just didn't uh, seem fair to, uh, to everybody. Oh, the Mets. Let's see here. Come back. There we go. Uh, yeah, I know, Daniel. It's uh, Well, I got good news for you because right on top, we're going to be starting with a Ron, Ron Sabota for you. So you get the last card in, in the last one, and you get the first card in this one. 
So we'll see what this holds here. They're all in really good condition, it appears. They're all 60s. I don't know which cards are going to be which here. We know how much variation, but let's give it a shot here. Let's see what we got. First up, Ron Sabota. Pretty cool. At least it's not a complete nobody. Nice. And again, in pretty good condition. 1969 card. Benny Ribbent. Benny, I don't know. But he's for the Tigers. The Tigers, I don't know. They, Thomas, there we go. I mean, uh, a little bit of funky corners on it. Still not too bad. Next up, Billy Hoft for the Baltimore Orioles. Again, a little bit of variation in, in the years here, which is kind of cool. 1961, it appears. Next up for the Atlanta Braves, Hank Fisher. I think I have heard of Hank. That is a 1964, it looks like. Hank Fisher. So you guys are going to get some older cards, that's for sure. Fred Hutchinson. Not really much to build a set off of, but... Oh, Fred's the manager. Whoop. Looks like they had the old manager cards back then. Nice. We got a Henry Mason. Pitchers for the Phillies. That looks like who knows what year. Doesn't really say, I don't think. Hmm. Anyway, Henry for the Phillies. Phillies tonight are that's Anthony. Oakland Athletics. That's KC Athletics, actually. Correcting myself there. Diego Segui. I wonder if that's uh, David Segui's dad by any chance. Going out to. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Case. Uh, I'm going to have to look who they evolved into. Because it's, uh, again, Kansas City. I want to say that turned into the A's, though. So I think that's going to be an Oakland A's one. Uh, and not KC. We've got George Smith for the Red Sox. That's a 1967. And again, a written, pretty decent condition. I mean, I don't know that these are 10s or anything, but Hank Aguirre for the Tigers. Looks like he's had a bit of a career. Next up for the Washington Senators, Bob Humphreys. Next up, we got a Dave Baldwin. Again, going out to the Senators. We'll move these along here a little bit. Rudy Hernandez for the Senators again. <laughs> 61 rookie. Um, this, let's see, this is probably a Gold Cup year. No, it's 61. So this is actually is a rookie card. Courtesy of the least of sleeve here. So that's a rookie card for the Senators, Rudy Hernandez. Some of the cuts on these are pretty horrible. The San Francisco Giants, Harvey Kuhn. Nineteen sixty three card. There's a pretty uh pretty name you should probably recognize. Sandy Alomar for the White Sox. Nice. 1969 design. Next up for the Cleveland Indians, Max Elvis. Max Elvis. I should probably get all these sleeves, but Tito Francona. Nice. That is a nice one. Pretty cool. Huh. Got 
to the Indians. Who's got the Indians tonight? Mm -mm -mm. Let's see here. Indians, Indian, Indians. You know, I haven't called Toronto's name either. We got to get on that. Miami, we haven't got into. Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, there they are. Carl. Oh, good. Carl, good to see you. Bill Verdon for the Pirates. For the White Sox, rookie stars, Fred Quage, Quages, Clags, and Dwayne Josephson. So nothing too much of a barn burner, I don't think, there. But that is going out to the White Sox. Nevertheless, and White Sox tonight, Todd. Rookie stars. I was expecting maybe a little more of the household names in these. Jim Grant, and maybe some of these guys are, are Expos. Nice. That's going out to the Nationals. Uh, maybe these guys are a little more better, you know, more household names than I'm giving them credit for. I mean, these ERAs aren't, well, they're not great, but they're not horrible. Pedro Ramos for the Yankees. Nice big chaw in the cheek there. Not going to let Team Picture Day slow him down. Don Guile. Austin Red Sox, and that's a 61 rookie card. Let's see here. Uh, <laughs> Samantha. Uh, Zoilo Versailles. Versailles. Uh, shortstop for the Dodgers. Uh, they they could have uh, could have mixed uh, one or two more star names in here. I'm a little disappointed here. We may be giving you guys a little extra in some of your packages if this doesn't get a little a little more uh, upbeat here. This I mean, who are these guys? Carl Swatowski for the Cardinals. He does not have his game face on. That man does not have his game face. He looks like he's cashing a paycheck. Julio Gate. I don't know you either, my friend. But he is going out to the Angels. 1963. I mean, it's a pretty cool survey of cards. <laughs> Math teacher. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's a pretty cool. You get to see the, you know, the, all these different years and all. But my goodness, John Purden. That's pretty typical pose of that year. For all those years, that kind of follow-through pitch uh, for the pitchers there, that, that pose. All right, what do we got here? We got a Jim Pagliaroni. Yeah, these guys don't look too tense. They don't look like they're very happy about getting their pictures taken. Looks like uh, military service listed. Come on, help me out here a little bit. Give me somebody here. Raul Sanchez for the Reds. Again, nice, cool old card. But was the cool old card. And just a little more recognizable name on these. All right, onward we go. Alex Johnson for the Reds. Gus Triandos. Triandas. Baltimore Orioles. I like the unis. Always a big fan of the Orioles. Again, cool old cards. Here's another Braves. Milt Pappas. There's more of a name. I mean, not a superstar, but a good solid pitcher. Next up, going out to the Cleveland Indians, Bertie Tebbets. That's a manager all day. Next up, Dave Sisler for the Senators. He looks in deep thought, pondering something. I do remember him, though. Th 
Third base for Houston, Bob Aspromonte with the airbrushed hat. I don't know why it's airbrushed. Didn't look like he changed teams, but that one going out to Houston. Next up, Todd Morgan for the Angels. You know, when you pick the Angels, you're really thinking more of Mike Trout, not Tom Morgan, I have to say. There's another guy with some military service. It's always interesting when you see these cards from a time frame that's, you know, around a war where guys would uh, enlist and, you know, come back out and still play afterwards. Johnny Klipstein for the Dodgers. All right, let's keep this moving. Tom Murphy, pitcher for the Angels. Got a Ollie Brown for the Giants. Phil Ortega for the Senators. Senators doing well. Every one of these boxes. Solid, solid choice tonight, tonight apparently. Giants. Bob Pretty. <laughs> Zane. Yeah, I don't blame Zane. Yeah. And I haven't seen a lot of Cubbies in here either, which is kind of a downer. Larry Brown with a Cincinnati hat, and he's on Cleveland. So there you go. No airbrush needed. Going out to the White Sox, Dave Nicholson. The White Sox with interesting little logo. A little bit different back then. Next up, Dick Hughes. Pitcher for the Cardinals. And that is some sort of animal back there. I don't know what's back there behind him. You might want to turn around. Ray Washburn. Again, in that pitcher pose. Poor guy got hung out there. And it must be an area for your, you know, if you get a signature. So you can get your signature for your card. Which is cool. It's been, you know, interesting innovations the cards if nothing else over the years they've, they've tried a lot of stuff so we got an rbi leader from 1968 jim northrup frank howard and ken harrelson some good hitters there rbi leaders some interesting names there it's classic names good stuff Next up, Smokey Burgess. There's a name. Catcher for the Pirates. Smokey Burgess. They always have interesting names, apparently, their catchers. Anybody remember Spanky Lavalier? There's another Pirate. Bob Severine. Washington again. Washington just came in here with a hammer today. Giants, Matty Alou. So there's a good one. That's a real good one. Tell you what, Matty. Even before my brother gets to it, we'll get you in the sleeve here. Again, nice legacy name for the uh, in baseball. We got a Dick Farrell. That one goes out to the Phillies. Ted Bosfield, Bosfield for the Angels. And bringing up the rear of Valmy Thomas. I am not familiar with Valmy. There you go. Rifle like throwing arm. Bang. All right, guys. I'm not sure what to think of the 60s one. Um, to be honest with you, that, that really it's kind of all over the map. Uh, anyway, here we go, guys. We got it's still got the autographs and we got the rookies, so we got at least that to look forward to. Um, I'm almost tempted to do the autographs first here. The rookies usually take care of themselves. They're usually good rookies. I'd rather end on a good note here. So uh, why don't we go ahead and we'll get these autographs because I know there's going to be a prospect or two in here and we're going to see some regular names as well. But So there may be some things we have to research. But let's get off the 60s one for a uh, short moment here and we'll... Get to the autos.
Again, thanks everybody for joining us on a uh, Friday night. We usually try to break a couple uh, times a week. So if you get a chance, take a look at our eBay store. Uh, I'm not sure what we have scheduled for next week yet. Um, subscribe to our YouTube channel here so you can see us. We do uh, do breaks in the interim, uh, like single box breaks of different uh, crazy products. We, we really kind of look around at some of the kind of oddball stuff out there. And we break those in between our eBay uh, sales. So there's usually stuff, a good portion of the week we have videos out. So uh, subscribe, take a look, see if you like it. Um, again, uh, we hope you uh, at least consider us when you're going to try to find a break. And I've already, did you see the blocker anywhere? Did you get, grab that by any chance? Uh, one of the things, I have no idea where that blocker card went to. I was going to use it for this, but... Uh, it's, uh, it's disappeared. Oh, well, no matter. Let's keep moving. So first auto is... We've got a Rob Nen for the Giants. And that looks to be an on-card. Very nice. And that is a... Topps fan... Or Topps Archive, I want to say fan favorite. If I remember right. Very nice Giants right out of the gates. Get some more sleeves here. Next up that is a Chad Blackwell. Okie doke. And that is numbered. I didn't check the last one. I will. 327 of 400. He's got an airbrushed hat to make it difficult on me. Second draft pick. It's a SP press prospects so let's see here if it says oh KC Royals right there perfect KC that is Anthony and the first one was the Giants and that was Anthony as well so there you go and this one doesn't appear to be numbered next up it's a little thicker that is Hand numbered, 44 of 151, first year Bowman, Ellie Yorg. That is pretty cool. And let's see who he plays for. That is the Astros. So the Astros getting in on it. That's Justin. Justin S. We got two Justins tonight. Very nice. Pretty cool card. And I like that they hand numbered it. That's a nice little uh, side note. Pretty cool. Next up, Luke Jackson for the Texas Rangers. And that's another on card. So at least they're, and that's a rookie card as well. Uh, at least the cards seem to be mostly on card that last one was on card as well let's see if this one's numbered here it does not appear so tops is pretty stingy with the numbers so that is a rookie auto next is jake skull that's a bowman chrome that's another on card. Nice. That is another one going out to Texas. Back to back Texas. Again, that's the auto. Up next. Ooh, that's a funky one. 
Acetate Blue Jays. There we go, Blue Jays. Jeremy Accardo. Glad we got something there going. That is number 5 of 35. Well, they did put stats on it. They're not stats, but they print it on the back. Cool. All right, we're going out to the Blue Jays. EJ. Okay, another on card. Next one up, this one is, that is on card as well. That's a Mikey White for shortstop for Oakland. And the A's today are James. James, good to see you. That's Elite Extra Edition. Next up, for the Tampa Bay Rays. That is Justin S. again. That's Braylon Jackson. Top certified autograph. That is a sticker out of that one. 2013 Pro Debut, so maybe he's somewhere still in the system. Looks like the Gulf Coast League from the uh, Gulf Coast League Rays emblem. All right, guys. Got a little bit of gold foil here. Kurt Miller. Hand numbering it as well. Are you joking me? 2665 out of 86. I don't know where 8650 comes from, but this guy, this cat sat down and signed 8,650 of these and hand numbered them. What kind of contract did you sign to get yourself into that? Authentic signature, however. First round draft pick. <laughs> My goodness. Holy cow. Florida picked up Kurt Miller. That looks like a Florida Marlin. We'll double check that, but that may be the Marlins' first hit of the day. Pretty interesting stuff. I don't know. I honestly can't tell you, Samantha. Um, sometimes prospects are cool if they're still a couple years out because it, it may mean they're just swimming somewhere in the system. Um I don't know <laughs> some of these people. Usually it's about a 50-50 mix of prospects and people you know. And um, This is interesting. It must be getting down towards the end of Steel City's supply. And these are, I don't know, some of these are questionable. But, again, a lot of people, I'll go through uh, <laughs> Karambas. I've seen those goggles on some of those uh, those guys we just went through in the 60s. They had about the same, uh, same eyewear. Uh yeah, I mean, I'll take a look, obviously, at everybody's stuff and what everybody paid. And if there's if there's something we need to do, uh, we'll do it. We obviously will pad stuff where needed. Uh, we want everybody to go away with a good experience. And we obviously, that's one of our policies. We don't advertise it because then people harp. Uh, they always want something extra. But we do look at it. And, uh, again, we'll take care of the people that need to be taken care of in here. So we got a Will Clinero. And that is an on card. It is 13 of 50, or 19 of 50, I should say, excuse me. Uh, that is a elite extradition status. That's Detroit. So that's going out to Thomas. Congratulations, Thomas. Got yourself an auto. 13 of 50. <laughs> I appreciate that, Samantha. All right. Let's see. I'm going to hang him upside down just because it's a die cut. I don't want anything to happen to the top of that card or bottom of that card as it is. I have no idea who this nobody train, this train of nobodies is, but here's another one. This guy apparently got that same bad contract for 8,650 signatures. I, I don't know how you can throw after signings anything 8,650 times. The chalkboard in Simpsons that Bart has to write on every week does not have 8,650 times. But that is Herbert Perry. That is his cross to bear. And um, he is with the, oh goodness, 
Florida Gators. Okay, we'll have to do some research here on, on good old... It's a signature rookie. He's a rookie somewhere. Where, I don't know. Herbert Perry, Jeff? If you, uh, if you do end up finding it, let me know. McDonald's. <laughs> you know it, Mike. I do not doubt that. Um, there's that cat right there. That guy who's got 8,650 reasons to not Literally. enjoy his job. Uh, so there we got a Seattle one here. Cesar Jimenez. Um, interesting looking signature. I'll give him that. That is going out to Seattle. That is Lloyd. Lloyd getting in that. That is a sticker auto. <laughs> it could be. That could be where we're finding them these days. That, maybe that's where they had them sign it at the drive-thru. They stuck a card through there. All right, onward we go. And it was nothing for that cat? Cleveland. Oh, Cleveland. All right, so um, it looks like... Um, which guy was it? I don't even know anymore. Perry. Perry. Okay, the Perry guy was uh, Cleveland. Oh, yeah, let me see him real quick here. Thank you. Awesome. So this guy was Cleveland. I guess that Indians jersey he's wearing probably would have been my first clue. <laughs> I kind of missed that. Shoot. All right. They might want to write that on there. Chad Sabota. For the, uh, whatchamacallit, for the Braves, about to say the A's. So that is his Bowman first card. That is a chrome. That's pretty nice. And his stats are a graph instead. Sophomore year. All right. So that one goes out to Atlanta. Uh, what do we have here for the Braves? It's been a while since I've been able to cut Anthony. It feels like I'm feeling like I'm calling your name an awful lot, but I'm glad. Thank you for coming back, by the way. Uh, you've been doing uh, some with us lately. Always great to see you come back. There's number 212 of 250, Harrison Bader. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. At least they're creeping into the major leagues again here with this. There's a good player for uh, St. Louis. And St. Louis... Oh, uh, where are you, Chris? Chris K. There you go, buddy. That looks like a tier one. There you go. Or top certified. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, top's tier one. There we go. One right here. Josh Fegley. Now, that I know. It says Chicago AL, but I want to... It's where Oakland, they ended up with Oakland at one point. But it's whatever he's with here. So that's going to be a Chicago White Sox, if regardless. And that is whatever number that is, 607 to 613. And again, that's kind of like a hologram foil. And that is a sticker auto. So the guy, there you go, guys. That is the White Sox. That one's sleeved up. Hey, Anthony. Yeah, doing real well tonight. Anthony cheated. <laughs> we'll get some more Mets, I swear. I swear, Daniel. Jacob Medor. Oh, again, these guys are killing me. Uh, looking for Jacob Medor in the house. You know that cat? All right, we're going to look him up. He's 18 and under not that long ago. So he, we'll see where he's ended up. Jacob Medor. All right, we're going to look him up for you guys. Next up, however. Ghost. He's a ghost. <laughs> Disappeared into the ether. Both of those guys? Oh, wow. All right, we end up may having to random some guys off uh, if we can't find them. There may be a lot of guys working all at the same McDonald's. We got a 233 of 819. That's Jorge Bucardo. That's a rookie card. I pray. Oh, San Francisco. Thank you. Huh. Uh, it's sad that that's uh, a big deal. Uh, Anthony, there you go. You show up, and I'm sitting next to Daniel. He's in good spirits. <laughs> there we go. If that's for real and you two guys are sitting there together, that's pretty cool that you guys are doing a break together uh, with us. That's that's fantastic if that's the case. 
Zach Thompson. Okay, I've heard his name before, but Franchise Futures. And I, maybe I I'm, I'm, might be mixing him up with somebody else because maybe he doesn't sound familiar. We got a sick... Whoop, let's try it this way, even. 789 of 799. Pretty cool card, though. Kind of a red and uh, reddish foil and a rainbow. And he is with Chicago. Uh, it doesn't say if it's Cubbies or the White Sox. It looks like White Sox. We'll have to verify. Zach Thompson, the Dolphins. Is uh, Zach Thompson? If he's is he a White Sox, Jeff, or a um, a Cubby? Looks kind of like a White Sox uniform. No, it was Zach. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, and the prospect train keeps rolling. Adam Walker, Panini Contenders. That is an on card. Now that is a sticker. And Minnesota. Thank you for helping me out, Adam. All right. That one goes out to Minnesota. And the Twins I haven't called very often. That's Thomas. Thomas, it looks like you're doing some catching up here when we got to the uh, autograph round. Great to see. Oh, nice. It looks like we are ending on a pretty cool note. Prime cuts. And again, it just helped me out with the segues. We are opening a box of these pretty cool prime cuts tomorrow as part of the mixer. 12 out of 99. That is San Diego Padres. Randy, there you go. A little bit better. All right. And that is an on card as they are known to be. All right. Well, that's the autographs, guys. Let's get into the rookies. The rookies usually are uh, a little more, re not reliable, but consistent as far as what's in them. Um, I really hope this is the same case here. Again, thanks for spending your Friday night with us. Always appreciate it. Subscribe if you get a chance. And if I get this box open, we'll be all set. There's some teams that really have been neglected in this. And uh, kind of looking at my list here. I mean, we've hit everybody, but I was hoping to get a little more in everybody's hands. Uh... Not much for Miami. They did have an auto, though, I believe. Pirates have been a little quiet. Yeah, we'll see what it looks like. We may be padding some of these guys. We'll, we'll, again, we'll look at the situations individually. Oh, this is one of those with the four pillars. I think. Pride, sh or not pride shut, but got to pry them open. All right, guys. These are the rookies. Looks like we got a couple of thick ones. That's pretty cool. Let's see what we got here. Here we go. And good luck, everybody. First one up, George Springer rookie card. That is pretty nice. Going out to Houston. Oop, and it's got Machado stuck to the back. Or Manny Ramirez. Oh, nice. So this is a George Springer, however. Uh, we'll get to this one first. And, yeah... Heck of a first card. And again, these rookies always, always, always seem to pan out. These, uh, these always are good boxes. George Springer rookie card right off the bat. Next up, Manny Ramirez. Youth Service League. Draft pick. How about that? That must have been before he went to the Yankees. Let's see, Cleveland Indians. The cards your mom threw out. <laughs> so that's pretty interesting. That's a nice one going out to Cleveland. And the Indians, that's Carl. Oh, we got a mini. Mini rookie card. Luis Urias going out to San Diego. Nice. Bowman first.
Next up, Ozzy Elby's rookie card going out to Atlanta. Ooh, here's an interesting acrylic. Blake Rutherford. I know we've pulled this one before. I'm probably going to have to look him up. Blake Rutherford. Let me know, Jeff, if uh, hopefully this guy isn't a ghost as well. That's our second DD of the night going out to Arizona. We get pulled one of him earlier. Diamondbacks, that's Brian tonight. Got a select rookie here. And that is another Yasiel Puig. I want to say we picked his up a little bit earlier, so somebody's getting two of those for the Dodgers. What's that? Oh. Let's see here. Not sure where it went. Year. Oh, uh, 2016. Yankees. Oh, okay. This one, guys, this is the New York Yankees is getting this with this rookie card. Looks like. We'll double check, but it looks like it's going to be Yankees. We got one for the Cardinals, an Adam Wainwright rookie card. There we go. We're wading back into some normal territory here again. Thing will be sleeved up and top loaded uh, before we uh, send it out. Here's a nice one. There's an Evan Longoria rookie card for the Rays. And that is Justin. That's a nice one. Good condition, especially considering it's a card with, uh, you know, black borders, black corners, and that. It's in really good condition. So, it's just nice, especially since this is a buyback product. It's probably passed through a couple of hands getting to this, uh, this set. To this box, I should say. Next up, we have a Ryan Braun rookie card for the Brewers. And that is Chris K. Good to see you, Chris. Next up, going out to the Giants, we have a Matt Kane rookie card. And that is back to Anthony. Did you, is there enough to uh, top load those rookies that we just, uh, Manny's and all those? Let's see if we can get those. If not, I have a couple here maybe. Let's see. Uh, we got a Joey Votto rookie card. That's a Bowman. Going out to the Reds. That's Ed. Haven't called Ed's name enough tonight. Hopefully we get a little bit here at the end. That's a good one if you're a Reds fan. Joey Votto is an absolute classic. His banter with the fans, both behind the uh, you know behind the uh, on deck circle and also when he's down playing first base is just hilarious. He really is uh, he's a good ambassador for the game. Well, I know some people probably don't dig him. I guess that he jaws with down there. But here we have a Jeremy uh, Weddle, I'm going to guess. 30 out of 625 for the Phillies. That's kind of a thicker card. And that is Phillies Anthony as well. Anthony, doing, doing well.
Next up, Vladdy Guerrero Jr. There we go. I think that's 2016. There is a nice one. It's a little more along the lines I was hoping to, to get in here. So that's a great one going out to EJ. One of the reasons you show up for this and get the Blue Jays. Next up, we got a Melky Cabrera. He's been around forever. Yankees debut there, his rookie card. And the Yankees tonight are Lloyd. And again, good to see you again, Lloyd. Hot on his heels, the guy that I enjoy collecting cards from, and that's Victor Robles. For the Washington Nationals, again, his rookie card. Had a little bit of injury problems uh, during the series, but in general, somewhat of a five-tool uh, player and should just keep getting better with him and Soto uh, Roman Elfield in Washington. They're both young guys, uh, both are promising, more than promising. Soto's fantastic. So they got, uh, should be pretty interesting how Washington carries forward after this you know, latest victory. Uh, Nick Senzel. There's a nice one for the Reds. Glad to get that one out to Ed. There's a nice rookie card for him. There we go. Very nice. Matt Cain again. That's a duplicate. Two already of that. That's not cool. Sleeved up. On to Shelby Miller. That one's going out to the Cardinals. And the Cardinals tonight are uh, Chris. Next one up. Eric Hosmer. That one's KC. Wow, look how young he is there. It's pretty interesting. Looks like a softball league. There he's playing for the Blue Rocks. All right, guys. Got one here for the Rays. That's a Matthew Moore. Matt Moore is more as he's commonly known. Not too bad of a pitcher. That's his first Bowman card. And, of course, right around the corner is a Cub. Addison Russell, rookie card. About time we got back in the uh, Cubs. There we go. Been a little bit since we called their name. Looks like we got uh, right behind it. Our next, Corey Seeger. We saw one of him a little bit earlier. I think it was a prospect card, though. And there is his rookie card from Panini. And that one going out to the Dodgers. Okay, next up, Seattle. Michael Pineda. Rookie card, and that is a Topps lineage. This advertising writes itself, guys. Tomorrow, our Mega Mixer. It seems like every card we're drawing is in tomorrow's Mega Mixer. The 2011 Topps lineage. It's a really wacky product. Not wacky isn't a bad thing, but it's got a lot of oddball inserts. We're opening a hobby case as part of that mixer. It's got like 3D cards, I think two of those. It's got like all sorts of oddball stuff. It's in the description in, in the uh, actual auctions, but uh, it looked like it was pretty interesting. And it was pretty expensive, to be honest with you, more expensive than we thought. And uh, um, if you have any interest in it, again, that's going off tomorrow. We got a, another Seattle Mariner here, and that is Brian LaHare. Oh, 
Next up, Jose Abreu for the White Sox. Rookie card. Nice. The Don Russ. Yeah, we seem to like Jose Abreu in this uh, these hobby boxes for uh, extravaganza. Seems well represented. Next up, looks like we have a Yankee, and that is Masahiro Tanaka. Rookie card for the Yanks. And right behind it, Chris Bryant, rookie card. I think we drew one of these for Zane Pryor, but I think he's getting another one. And if he hasn't, then guess what? He's probably sleeping, though. I think the 60s uh, cards probably knocked him out. But either way, he's getting another Chris Bryant rookie card. Next up, we've got a blue foil Matt Harvey rookie card for the Mets. It's about time. go Let's see where's my Does that fit Daniel finally drawn another one here for you blue foil pretty cool looking card KC, Bo Jackson, Donruss, 87, rated rookie card. KC. Yeah, pretty cool card, Daniel. It's a really nice uh, blue foil. Pretty much cooler in person. And uh, that's really nice, too. Bo Jackson. Going out to the Royals and Anthony. Ah, cool, Zane. Congratulations. There we go. Bo Jackson going out to KC. Looks like we're headed back to Boston. Pick two cards or one. There we go. Uh, Jackie Bradley Jr. Rookie card. Next up, Giordano Ventura. That is Kansas City again. Kansas City. Late surge. Next up, L.A. Dodgers. Jock Peterson, rookie card. That's a pretty nice one. Tops Museum Collection. Again, it's a kind of a thicker stock card. And the Dodgers. That's April. There you go, April. Let's see if we got a uh, thicker rookie. Yeah, that should work. And next up, Marion Rivera the third. Yeah. I wish it was the other monitor, Mariano Rivera, but it is not. Next up, though, a Ronald Acuna Jr. That is his Bowman. Nice. So if you're the Braves, that's one you're going to be looking for. Oh, yeah, Anthony. <laughs> is that right, Daniel? <laughs> A 
All right. So if you're the Braves owner, that's always a welcome sight. And Braves tonight. Oh, gosh. I should know this by now. Uh, Anthony. Of course it's Anthony. Anthony knows cards tonight is, what, is what's going on here. So there we go. Got an Acuna. And then Jose Abreu showed up again. Well represented, old good old Jose here. Good to see though. Jose Abreu, uh, White Sox, Todd. There you go, Todd. Next up, Ubaldo Jimenez for the Rockies. And the Rockies, Justin F. Next up, going back out to the Red Sox, Dice K, Mats, Matsuzaka. <laughs> Dice K is what I think I, uh, Matsuzaka? Uh, that doesn't sound right. But anyway, Dice K. That is his rookie card for the Boston Red Sox. That is Thomas. Oh, boy, yeah, here we go. We got uh, Anthony, uh, got a little something-something for you here again. Another, the 1986 Tops rookie Bo Jackson. Again, these are all great condition, the cards. Sharp corners, a little off-center. You know, it's not going to be a perfect 10, but a lot of these uh, you could probably consider for uh, grading. Next up, Nelson Cruz. Again, that one for the Brewers. Milwaukee up top there. Looks like kind of a uh, world, world league, or I'm not sure where that. It's minor leagues, that jersey he's wearing, but Nelson Cruz, rookie card. Next up, Ozzy Elbies again, but this is a top chrome. Tops chrome version, so that's a little bit nicer. Another rookie for him. So Atlanta doing well tonight. Always good to see. Atlanta always does well. Um, the last couple uh, the last couple ones we've had, the uh, last couple breaks, they've done exceedingly well, actually. You guys are interested that we did a, a one box break last night it was just a kind of a personal break for us it was two packs of i believe it was 2015 tops tribute it was six autos or six autos six relics in each of them you should check it out it was actually really cool really thick um uh relics but we got like uh ernie banks a willie mays jersey um lou gehrig bat uh ryan sandberg um, trying to think who else. It was really Nolan Ryan. It was exceedingly, <laughs> it exceeded its expectations by quite a bit. So here's another Tanaka, Masa, Masa, Masahiro uh, Tanaka, and that's his rookie card. That's a Bowman Chrome. Next up, we've got Reese Hoskins going out. That is the Home Run Derby rookie card. That one goes out to the Phillies. That's Anthony. Anthony, I imagine you are going to be getting quite a package from me. Next up, that's a thicker one. Cliff Lee. Good old Cliff Lee. He looks like he put his first name in there. I'm not sure what that middle name is. Is that Peter? Looks a little different. But anyway, that is his Bowman. And that is, can't really make out, first year card, there we go. Really nice, thick card. Very nice. And again, that's the Indians, who is Carl tonight. So congratulations, Carl. Nice card. Up 
next. Hunter Pence, Houston Astros, and that is a Bowman Chrome. Nice. Astros, and again, I lose them more often. Justin is what I'm looking for there. Up next, we got Austin Jackson. Action Jackson, rookie card. That goes out to Thomas. <laughs> yeah, right. The uh, Andrew Benatendi. So we got a Benny baseball. That goes out to Thomas. That's a pretty nice one. Elite Extra Edition. Really nice. And again, this, this is uh, this is one of those ones where the, these rookie boxes never disappoint. Really do seem to get some good cards out of these. It seems to be continuing a tradition. That's why I expected a little more out of some of those other boxes. They're usually a little more generous uh, than they were. They're more along the lines of what we're seeing here. So there's another George Springer to go along with the first one that was on the top of this pile. The rookies, Houston Donruss. Rookie card, George Springer. Nice. Dalton Pompey's up next. That, I believe, would be the Blue Jays. And again, that's a nice, thick... Heavy stock card, class of 2015, Toronto. Dalton Pompey. That is going to need a thick sleeve. All right, guys, we got one card left here. It's in a top loader. Well, again, thank everybody for joining us tonight. And we're going to go see if we can do a quick recap for you. Um, best we can. It's not going to be too comprehensive, but we'll see if we can highlight some things. So here's Dalton Palm. There you go, Pompey. All right, guys. As they call it, the Mr. Irrelevant. Oh, who else? Jose Abreu. Third flavor, third flavor of rookie card from him. I hope. Uh, what do we got here? Gosh, Todd. I hope you're a Jose Abreu fan. If so, you have had a good break. That is a Bowman Chrome. All right, Jose. All right, guys. We are going to clean this up real quick here, and we are going to see if we can get you just some sort of recap. And I want to thank everybody again for joining us. I really do. And um, it, was, uh, it was a good break on a little uneven at times. So what we'll do is, again, we'll take a look and... If there's a need to uh, pad some things for you guys, we will. We always try to do that. Uh, we want to make sure you feel you got uh, at least in a ballpark of your money's worth. Obviously, these are kind of a chance thing. Everybody knows that. But if there's some really disparate uh, breaks, we always try to take care of you guys. That's that's, that's kind of a given. So uh, bear with us for another second here, and we're going to go through a quick recap. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you again. We're going to go through these um, as quickly as we can. There was a lot of cards, and we don't want to dwell on some of the stuff we went through kind of slowly, but we'll, we'll fly through some of this stuff. Um, from what Jeff has told me, these are, uh, I believe all these are by team. 
So we'll see, like, again, a bunch in a row by a team, hopefully, and give you kind of an idea of, uh, again, this isn't all the cards, but kind of a little bit of a summary. So we got Atlanta. We've got uh, Sabotha. Chicago, Zach Thompson. Chicago, Josh Fegley. Uh, Cleveland, Herbert Perry. Oh, now I remember Herbert Perry, actually. Ellie Org, that was Houston. Uh, Chad Blackwell, he was, I should know this. He was, anyway, we're going to keep moving. Um, Adam Walker, Oakland, San Diego, uh, Alex Dickerson. We've got uh, San Francisco, Jorge Bricardo, Harrison Bader for St. Louis, Jacob Meter for... <laughs> I can't uh, remember. Seattle or St. Louis. Seattle or St. Louis. Yeah, he's sandwiched there. So he's going to be one of those two. We got another Seattle here. Sorry. Uh, again, these are the autos, guys, as you can tell. Uh, we've got the Rob Nen, who's with the Giants. It's in our San Francisco. Uh, so San Francisco getting in a couple of those rays. Uh, we got two uh, of the t uh, Tigers, Texas, Jake Skull and uh, Luke Jackson. And the last auto looks like is for the Blue Jays, Jeremy Arcardo. All right, so that's our autographs. It was 20 of those. Uh, here's a couple just um, of the 60s ones that jumped out. Some of the names, Tito Francona, uh, Ron Sabota. Matty Alou, Harvey Kuhn, and Sandy Alomar. Obviously, there was more in there, but it was uh, it was interesting. All right, guys. Here we got the relics. First up here, Diamondbacks, Chris Young. We've got Atlanta, Julio Tehran. Boston, Josh Reddick. Cleveland, Carlos Santana. Houston, uh, Lance Berkman. We've got a Angel Baroa for KC. Uh, for LA Angels, Darren Erstead. We've got Kyle Farmer, who was for the Dodgers? Or Yankees. Yankees. Um, for the Dodgers, Kente Maeda. Greg Bird for the Yankees. <laughs> okay, so we got a couple of those out of order. We've got a, for the Mets, there we go, Angel Pagan. Hunter Pence for Philadelphia. We've got for the Pirates, we got Jose Tabata. Uh, that is Tag Boxed for the Padres, something like that. Uh, James Shields for the Rays. We've got Deion Navarro for the Rays. For Texas, Patrick Wisdom. Uh, we've got an Adam Dunn there for Washington. And that leaves a Michael Burgess for Washington as well. And that is the Relics. And we're going to fish up real quick with, uh, what are these again, Jeff? Rookies? Mm -hmm. Okay, some rookies here by team. So, again, go through here quick. Oakland, no, not Oakland, uh, Yankees. Braves, Braves. He was Yankees, wasn't he, Blake Rutherford? Oh, yeah, I see. <laughs> yeah, he'll go further in the pile. Anyway. Braves, Ozzy Albies, Ronald Acuna, back to some Ozzy Albies. Didi Gregorius for uh, Arizona, Dice K for Boston. We've got uh, Benny Baseball for Boston, Jackie Bradley Jr. for Boston, uh, Nick Senzel for Cincinnati, Joey Votto for Cincinnati, Chris Bryant for the Cubbies. We've got Addison Russell, rookie for the Cubbies. Jose Abreu, it was all about Jose Abreu tonight. It's his world, we're just living in it. Three of those. Cliff Lee for Cleveland, Manny Ramirez for Cleveland. So those are pretty two good back-to-back -back ones uh, for Cleveland there, actually. Uh, Ubaldo Jimenez, that's Rockies. We got Austin Jackson for the Tigers. We've got George Springer for – make sure there was another one. George Springer for Houston. Uh, Nelly Cruz here for uh, uh, Milwaukee. I thought we had a second Springer. It was the very first card. It was a big – oh, there he is. Slightly out of order. There's George Springer. Uh, Hunter Pence for the Astros. Uh, actually, yeah, we got a couple of these out of order. No matter, though. Why well, Nelson look like a Houston? <laughs> so, Milwaukee. All right, well, you guys get the idea. There's Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson, Bo Jackson. Um, 
more KC Giordano. Let me grab some more of these rookies. So we're still on KC here. Eric Hosmer, Corey Seager for LA, uh, Jock Peterson for LA, Yasiel Puig for LA. And again, this isn't rolling in those ones, uh, Diamond Stars from earlier. There was another Yasiel Puig. That, this is uh, kind of a different pile. We got Ryan Braun from Milwaukee. Um, obviously, we have Nelly Cruz here from Milwaukee as well. We've got Matt Harvey from the Mets. Uh, Tanaka from the Yankees. Blake Rutherford from the Yankees. We've got Melky Cabrera for the Yanks. Uh, Tanaka from the Yanks. Again, Reese Hawkins for the Phillies. Come on. And for the Phillies, we got Jeremy Weddle. I don't know him. Uh, Michael Pineda for Seattle. More Seattle and Brian LaHare. Shelby Miller for St. Louis. Adam Wainwright, rookie, St. Louis. For San Diego, we got a mini. Luis Urias, that's a nice one. A couple Matt Keynes. Uh, let's see, Matt Moore for the Rays. Evan Longoria for the Rays. Again, these are rookie cards. Dalton Pompey for Toronto. Vladdy Guerrero Jr. making an appearance again for Toronto. Victor Robles for Washington. And Mariano Rivera the third for Washington. All right, those are our rookies, guys. Obviously, there was some in some of the other ones. We have uh, a bunch more cards that we didn't um, go back over for the recap, but you obviously everybody gets everything for your teams. So, um, again, we'll take a look at everything. Make sure you guys are, uh, you know, taken care of. But I want to thank everybody again for spending your Friday night with us. It is December 6th, quickly getting up on the holidays, folks. So hopefully everybody's, uh, um, you know, getting out there, getting what you need to get done. And uh, we appreciate you spending your time and money with us tonight. So uh, if you can, oh, thank you, uh, Mike, as always, and you and to the rest of your family. Much appreciated as always. And from Jeff and myself, uh, thanks again for coming out tonight. Thank you to all of you guys, uh, the Daniels, the Anthony, Samantha, uh, Anthony, um, everybody. I, I know I'm Thomas. I don't want to forget you. Uh, Ed, I love seeing you out here, Ed. All you guys, um, you guys make this thing. It, it, we get all excited when we see these names come back because we know you guys. And uh, it's funny, you guys all have your favorite teams in that, and uh, we do the exact same thing as you. So we love to see it uh, from the other side. Uh, everybody stay safe. If you're into it, we have an incredible mixer tomorrow. Uh, take a look at it at least, see if there's anything you're interested in. And keep an eye open for stuff we have coming up next week. We got some, uh, we're thinking of doing a hot pack break. Uh, we bought a bunch of hot packs that are guaranteed to have autos and relics and stuff like that in it for some recent products. So instead of opening up boxes where only two of the packs in the whole box have anything, we figured we'd get to brass tacks and just buy the, the hot packs in them. So <laughs> we'll see where that goes. Uh, but keep your eye open for some of this stuff coming up here. But uh, thanks again, folks. Everybody stay warm. Uh, it's cold out there in most places around the U.S. And uh, we'll see you soon. Take care. Thanks again.